everybody this is Ashley Bowen again from Treehouse Stamps and today I would like to do a GIMP tutor tutorial. I had done a, a tutorial using Photoshop elements um, showing you how to use digital stamp images. So I've had several people ask me about doing a tutorial for GIMP because GIMP, uh, it's G-I-M-P, is actually a free program that you can download online for free. So that way you don't have to pay for Photoshop. But the first thing um, I wanted to show you is if you go and just type in like in Google or Yahoo or whatever, download GIMP, uh, free downloads. You know, you can go to any of these really and click it and you can download it. So it's a great program and I highly recommend it. So um, this is what the icon looks like. Uh, so mine's GIMP 2. But when I open it, this is my toolbox, and then most of you all have a box over here on the right side also, um, but I closed mine for now because I don't need it. But um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to File, Open, and then you're going to find your, you're going to have two stamp images. Now, if you're combining them, then you'll want to do this to both of them. Um, so what I'm going to do is this uh, these flowers I want to select those and then there's this flower box um, which is actually box one that has happy Easter around the outside I want to put those flowers inside this box so how I do that is I'm gonna open the flowers first open so it has a white background so I want to get rid of that and actually make that um, a uh, transparent background so you go to layers transparency add alpha channel click that then you're going to go over here to this fuzzy select tool click it and then click that background and what you notice is you get these marching ants around your page and then around your image and you're going to go to edit clear or you can hit the delete key and when you clear that then when you hit that button it gives you these checks which means that it's transparent so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to file and then you're gonna save as and then you can save this image so I'm just gonna do it as one whatever and um, it doesn't matter what you call it but um, and then down here you can click this arrow and it brings up every kind of um, different file you could ever want. You want to do a PNG which allows you to have that transparent background. So you hit save and then it saved it. So once you have that done then all you have to do is go to file open as layers. Now you're gonna wanna open your first layer first. So that sounds weird, but box one is what mine's under. So this box is the back layer I want. So you're going to hit open. So you have this. Okay. Now you're going to go to file again. Open as layers again. And then you're going to go to the one you just saved that has this transparent background. And you're going to hit open. So that actually um, opens that over top of the other. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go and you can use this move tool here to move this around but you want to make that smaller so that it fits inside that box so you're going to go to this which is the scale tool and you're actually going to scale this down and you can just take this and drag it to the size that you want and then you hit scale here and then you can see down here it's doing the scaling down of the image. Okay, so now we'll go back to the move tool and move that image back up here. Now I've made that a little bit too small, so I want to make that bigger. So go back to the scale tool, click your image, and then I'm going to make it the size that I want it for this picture. And I'm going to hit the scale button again. And actually, these two stamp images um, are going to be released this next Thursday or Wednesday, um, and it is part of our 
uh, one of our Easter sets. So, from Treehouse Stands. I love this set. It's wonderful. But, um, so that's all you do for that. And then, you right click that flower. And you go to layer. And when you go to layer, you're going to hit merge down. So, then it's all one picture. So, when you move it, it's all together. You don't have to worry about it being two separate layers. And then you just go to File, Save As, and then Desktop. And then you can save it as whatever you want. And then go here, and you can make it a JPEG or whatever kind of file you want. Save As, and then I'm going to hit Export. And Save. So now it's on my desktop. And it's all one image. So that was simple. Uh, Grant's in the room with me, so he's getting a little bit fussy, but not too bad. So you pretty much do all the other, um, you know, stamps and stuff the same way. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. What's wrong, honey? Um, so if you guys have any other questions, please let me know. And I'll talk to you.